Hi there and welcome back to my channel. You are hanging out with Stephanie from Simply On Demand. I am a creative designer as well as a Canva creative designing coach. So what I want to share with you today is the background remover. Now for those of you who are old hand at Canva Pro, because background remover is a pro feature, you will know that how to do how to work it. But for those who are new to Canva Pro, as well as background removing, let me show you how to do that. So I've got a blank canvas over here, and I'm simply going to use one of my own photographs. And let's just, which one shall we stick in there? Um, let's stick that one over there. And I don't want all of the distracting imagery in the background. I want it to be gone. So while I've got the image selected, as I have over here, we click on effects. And up at the top, it will say background remover. So we click on that. And Canva starts showing us that it is busy doing its thing. Now remember, as I said, that this is a pro feature only. So the um, background remover will not be available to free users. You are able to uh, subscribe to, well, not subscribe, but actually go to a website called remove.bg, where you are able to get the background remover free of charge. Now, as you can see, it has disappeared. My hand disappeared over here, which is not really what I wanted. So on the side, Canva gives us a, an erase button as well as a restore button. Now, my computer is not really all that fine tuned for fine work, but let me show you. So I want my hand to appear. So I click on restore. All right. And now the, that's the brush size. As you can see on the leg over there, that's the brush size. I want to make it a little bit smaller to make it more fine. And there you can see it. So now I simply go and do that setup over here just to see that I can remove, add my hand back in. But this is not really looking very professional. Um, as you can see, I am a little bit all over the place over here. So it's really not adding any value for me to have my hand over there. Now, yes, I can go and click done. And then this is what the final image is going to be like. So it's going to show all of that. So I don't want that. So I can simply click on cancel and my hand disappears. And now I can just cut it off and click on apply and when canva decides to work with me over here sometimes can be a little bit slow but you know what so it can happen with all platforms and then i can simply move that to the side and now i can change the background color Let's make it nice and bright so we can see the contrast over there. So there you can see where the outline of my original photograph was, but with the background that's now been removed, I can see the background over there that's peeking through, that's pink, even over there as well. So that is how we remove a background within Canva. Uh, so, and <clears throat> pardon me, and able to see what the rest of the photograph can look like. Now you can obviously go and change it, change it as much as you want, um, just so that you can have a little bit more white space to add whatever it is that you want to add. All right, easy peasy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're not watching this on YouTube, head over to YouTube and uh, Subscribe, click the bell button so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. If there are any questions, please do ask. All the best. Take care.